The most proven means to upward mobility in America is under assault. Next, on your Labor Minute. Hello, I'm Mark Harrison. It's a fact that has been proven by study after study. A college education is the best single pathway to upward mobility. Yet over the last several years, most states have cut spending on higher education and replaced the enrollment of poor and middle class students with teens who come from more affluent families that can afford to pay full tuition. Since 2008, per student spending on education by states has fallen on average by 18%. At the federal level, Pell Grants have fallen on average by nearly 3% nationwide, with some areas seeing much higher falloffs, like in San Diego, where the University of California campus witnessed a staggering 20% falloff in Pell Grants over the last five years. One of the tactics being employed by flagship public colleges are the recruitment of out-of-state and in some cases out-of-country students who aren't eligible for in-state tuition rates or financial assistance. Today's economy depends on well-educated workers, and the gaps in education keep worsening in the areas of income inequality, unemployment, and in the state of people's health. It's worth noting that this assault on upward mobility is coming in all states regardless of political leaning, and that in spite of politicians across party lines calling for the rejuvenation of the American dream, government policy is hurting the chances of those who most need the chance at a college education. As David Leonhardt recently wrote in the New York Times, the country's most powerful engine of upward mobility is under assault. I'm Mark Harrison with your Labor Minute.